up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. We are here with another episode of base reviews for you guys. We're going to be doing four Town Hall 7 bases. Um, the first of the bases is Jimmy Gige, however you pronounce your name. I'm sorry if I just called you gay. I didn't mean to. Um, <laughs> but So you have a Town Hall 7 right here. Obviously, it is a, uh, it's a farming base since your clan castle is not, or since your Town Hall is not in the middle. Um, I do like to see this mortar right here centralized as well as these two. Um, as I say in all my videos, creating a triangle with your mortars is great because it helps cover your entire base. So um, right off the bat, that is good that you're doing that. Um, your clan castle is a little bit exposed because the radius of it comes down here. So people can actually pull your troops out uh, and just not have it really affect them. So if I were you, honestly, I would take your clan castle and I would move it right here where this mortar is and uh, scoot the mortar down here to where the clan castle is. That way you'll get a little bit more coverage with your mortar around the whole base and your clan castle will be a little bit more protected. Um, it is good that you have your wizards in this little section as well. They're protected by the walls so um, that's always good. They're not too exposed. Depending on whether or not you get attacked by a lot of air troops you might want to uh, consider moving this this air defense um, in somewhere to replace, I don't even know what, maybe the, the Barbarian King or something like that. But you do at least have this air defense in the middle, which is good to have that centralized as well. Um, overall, I'd say that your base is is really good. You have a lot of sections in it that are going to help with, um, with giants and whatnot as they try and work their way through your base. So that is good. Um, I don't really see too much that I would change. I would definitely continue upgrading your walls and whatnot. The main thing that I would say that you should change, Jimmy, is uh, moving the mortar right down here to where the clan castle is and um, just switching those two out. But you've done a good job of, of um, doing archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer all the way around the base. That way your point defenses are spread out um, a lot better and it just makes your base more effectively covered. So you've definitely done a good job with that, Jimmy. Overall, I'd say your base is good. I would just switch out these two things right here and um, that's pretty much all that I would do. So we're going to move on to the next one and I believe that this base is uh, Captain T. So good for you getting your base reviewed. <laughs> Uh, so you decided to do the same thing when it comes to your uh, clan castle in the middle, which is awesome because that's very, very important uh, to have centralized. This whole area up here, though, is kind of exposed, especially with this cannon. I know that you are, uh, your main goal is having a farming base, so that's understandable. But all these walls over here um, on the sides are pretty wasted, and you could really use them to help protect either this archer tower down here or this cannon up here. Um, I do like the design of the base, but it just seems like you're wasting walls in certain areas, so I might consider switching some of those up. Um, just like I said about the last guy, you do have your mortars in a triangle. Um, these two are fairly close to each other. If somebody dropped three lightning spells or so right here in the center, then they would take out uh, your both of those mortars, which obviously you don't want to happen. So I might consider either moving those out to where the air defenses are, um, or something along those lines, but switching it up so that two of your most important defenses aren't right next to each other. Um, it looks like you are doing a good job of, of upgrading your walls. You have your center core all the way upgraded, which is awesome and completely necessary. Um, otherwise, I really wouldn't say that I would change too much. You've done a, an okay job of splitting up your, um, your point defenses, but I might consider uh, putting an archer tower right here in the bottom left and then bringing that cannon over. Uh, just like I said on that last one, it's good to go cannon, archer, cannon, archer, uh, so on and so forth across the base. Um, as well, you have both of your wizard towers up here, so that means this whole bottom section down here is not covered by wizards. And those are some of your best defenses as well. So I would definitely consider at least spreading those out a little bit, maybe switching them with these uh, collectors or um, storages, something along those lines, but they definitely shouldn't both be up here. Um, ideally they would cover the entire base um, or at least a lot of it by being in a centralized area like these air defenses on the side so um, overall your base looks pretty good but I would definitely consider uh, switching out your mortars and then moving your your wizards around as well but it's definitely not um, too bad of a base so 
Good job. We are now going to move on to MZ Hammer. As you can see, he's very well upgraded um, when it comes to his walls and his defenses and everything. Uh, he did a lot better job than the last guy with having the Wizards help cover the entire base, or at least a majority of it. Um, your clan castle right here is very, very exposed. I would definitely consider moving that into the center with your Dark Elixir. You only have 3,000 Dark Elixir, so if someone attacks you, attacks you, they're not going to be able to take that much of it. So I would definitely consider moving your clan castle into the middle uh, to help it protect your entire base. Uh, that's very, very important. I also would probably take this mortar right here and switch it out with this air defense because these two mortars are pretty close to each other. Um, and you want to make sure that you can cover this area of the base as well with mortars. And right now, I don't believe that those would reach it. So I might move those around. Otherwise, the base looks really good. And you did a good job of spreading out your point defenses, like I've said in the other bases where you go archer cannon, archer cannon, and so on and so forth. So you've done a good job with that. Um, you've really used your walls wisely. These little areas right here um, seem pretty unnecessary. Uh, I don't think that any troop would really go for that area since there's nothing on the other side of that wall. Uh, the intelligence behind the troops is that they go after certain things. So no, no troops really going to attack these walls right here. So they're pretty much being wasted. Um, you could use them in other areas for sure. But you've done a good job of upgrading. I definitely like your layout more than some of the other ones. But like I said, I might consider moving the clan castle into the middle and then switching out your uh, mortars on the side and then maybe trying to figure out something to do with these walls right here because it just seems like they're kind of pointless right now. Um, so that is all for you, MZ Hammer. Good job. You've done a really great job of upgrading everything. Um, so continue doing that. And our last one, uh, I don't know what your name is. We're just going to call you Village Edit Mode because that's where you decided to take your picture. Uh, but this base is very, very long, as you can see. Some of the other bases, let's pull up NZ Hammers again. You can see it's more of a square. Um, and that's better because when it's thin like this one, the troops can get in very easily and, um, and really just make their way through the base a lot easier than if it's a square with more walls. Uh, if somebody decides to attack from this side, they can pretty much get into the entire center of the base uh, just by going through two walls. So I might consider making it a square. If not, that's fine. Um, but again, your mortars look very good there. They are um, in a triangle as well. Your wizard towers definitely need to be upgraded, uh, as do some of your other defenses. But uh, they are on the outside. They're pretty exposed to any kind of troops that come over here. Someone could just drop a giant down and then take out your wizard towers with a couple of archers. So I might consider trying to get these more centralized behind at least two sets of walls uh, since they are one of your highest damage dealing defenses. Um, that would be very, very important. You're doing a good job of upgrading. I can see that you have your cannon down here upgrading and whatnot, but I would definitely continue upgrading until max uh, before moving on to Town Hall level 8. But for the most part, your base doesn't look too bad. You do have your clan castle centralized, which is uh, something that some of the other ones do not have. So you did a good job there. I would just consider trying to move in your wizard towers. Um, and your mortars are a little close together right here. So I'm not sure where you would put them if you kept this design. But um, somebody could easily take those out with uh, lightning spells. But that is going to be it for the base reviews today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you want your base to have a chance to be submitted, go ahead and send it to basereviewswithmolt at gmail.com. And I will do my best uh, to get to it. I just looked in my email and saw that there were over 600 unread uh, emails from you guys. So that's pretty crazy. That's a lot of emails. Obviously, I can't go through all of them. Um, but I will do my best to pick ones that are not alike and different. Uh, we did Town Hall 8 in the last base reviews, uh, and then this one we just did Town Hall 7. So why don't we try for Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 9 in the next one. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, for those of you who didn't get reviewed, uh, take the pointers that I said about other people's bases and try and apply it to yours, and it will definitely make you better. But, hey, as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and clash on with me, all right? I'll see you guys later.